Welcome back, Barstool Pick'em Week 2. It is brought to you by our friends at DraftKings. Thanks to DraftKings for sponsoring Pick'em. Check out the odds for yourself at DraftKings Sportsbook app. And new customers use promo code PICK to get in on the action. I'll just throw this out, out there. Uh, week 1, I, I placed a, two futures on Heisman's. Uh, I t- took the Nico kid from Tennessee at 15-1. to 1, And I also added Travis Hunter at 40-1. to 1. Uh, just because he was so electric, I think he's down to twenty-five to one. DraftKings has What's all the Cam futures. Cam Ward is he the favorite? Cam Ward, I believe. I think Dylan Gabriel is still the favorite. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah he played like shit. Yeah, well, he hurt his hand. Yes. Uh, but you don't? Did you know that? Yes, I watched a lot of. That. Okay, you watched a lot of it. A lot of it. Yeah. A lot of that game. A lot of that game. Okay, so DraftKings, go uh, check out DraftKings. That's where all of our bets are going to be. We also hit the the mortal parlay which i didn't bet and i bet it every single week it was just one of those things there is a transition period this is our first year with DraftKings. i'm not you I, I i just didn't see it yeah. I, I saw like our college football one go up which is four legs i didn't see the pick them and then i saw you say we won it and i was 60 grand i, I knew i knew that you didn't bet it when i when i Texted you and Rico I was like, "Congrats, boys!" and you didn't respond. I was like, the- "I bet it." I knew he didn't. Win. I bet he put out that he faded it. Yeah. What? Well, no. You put. Yeah, I know. I bet against Oklahoma. You bet against State. Oklahoma State. I didn't even State. know it was in there. Yeah. All right. So go to DraftKings, where all of our, our our bets will be. Uh, okay. Week <laughs> I two. Bosco and got smoked. Someone pointed out a rider. Riders, by the way. I mean, listen. They're riled up. I'm a rider. <laughs> They're riled I'm up. A rider. He's right there. See him in the in the booth, Neil. Neil. That's your guy. Yeah, it's my guy. You Who like him? That guy. Stooley's Clubhouse. <laughs> Neil oh, Boy. You like him, right? Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's doing God's you work. You got beef with him? He's good. He's good. Okay. Uh uh the riders are are wh- whooping it up online. And I, I listen, I'm a rider, but it it's is early in the season. game. Yeah, it's early in the game. Someone it's pointed out game. a rider did point out because they were taking a lot of victory laps. Rico had an insane eight and three week. Eight and three week. Uh and they were taking victory laps. They reminded me that you don't fade Rico until college basketball season. When he starts looking at other stuff. When yeah, I listen, I, I I I I not to be a dick. I'm like, he's so bad, I'm gonna fade him all year. But he was right. Ton. And I think you gotta let me get bad. The Wisconsin game right off the bat wasn't even close. No. Nope. And then I was like, Oh, well, he won that. So I started going down. Yeah, I, I lost a what was I, seven and nine, I would say I'd have to go back and look at my exact picks, but probably four of those are just strictly Rico fades. Yeah. I uh, I hate. It's the worst. I got a little thing on my tongue, too, which is not good. Oh, no. You're getting sick? No, just a lot of travel. Been been all over the place. We should say, I went too. out once. I, I, I've gone out once all summer. And when I say out, I stayed out till midnight and had, like, two high noons and got, like, kind of sick the next day. <laughs> I just don't get. By the way, totally side note. The talk of that. Did you see the gas is? I don't follow. Yeah, he him. went tarps off the whole he, weekend. He, he just shirts off. And then he, bars, th- I said it to him yesterday in the office. Crazy. And he's like, "Yeah, it's a beach bar." I'm like, "All right, but you don't go no, no, tarps there's off." No place in Nantucket where he, he was the only one. He must be working out like the way he's literally. He looks good. Instagram did look good. He did look no good. Instagram stories just all shirts off. Yeah, shirts crazy. off. There's no, off. There's no bigger jazz rider in where? the world. I don't. There has to be. It's where? an island. Where the gazebo? No. There's no bigger jazz rider in the world than than Hank. Hank. If you asked him, because if you asked him, like, whose life would you trade right now? And he, it would be Gaz 100 out of 100 times. Oh, yeah. Love Gaz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he, there, there, there I mean, is, who doesn't love Gaz's life? He doesn't, does nothing. There, there is, <laughs> there is no, uh, no shirts off bars in the Nantucket. There just isn't. And I mean, every photo, everyone's wearing shirts, except I, him. I do like that Gaz has become like a, uh, uh, like a hardcore listener and kind of troll of podcasts at Barstool Sports. I really appreciate that. He, he's become that? Yeah. <laughs> he's always been. No, but he's like commenting. He's tweeting more about it. Oh. He's Very in the chat fun. on the, your show. He's yeah, everywhere. he calls like it, yeah, one of the funniest I, things. I, I, I always get it. I mean, I'm getting the. He, one of the funniest things he does, it makes me laugh every time he's he calls, he says that Hank needs more respect from his co-hosts. PFT and Big Cat on Pardon My Take, and he's just like, your co-hosts are are, <laughs> are being rude to you. Uh, wait, hold on. He had his shirt off the whole weekend? Oh, yes. is it on Instagram? I don't follow him, but I was seeing him. Why don't you follow him? Because I'd hate him. <laughs> I haven't followed him for years. 
So he just had his shirt off in what bars? Bars, yeah. His whole Instagram. Go to his Instagram story. It might be deleted now, but it's crazy. It was crazy. I was like, yeah. I, I, he put a picture up. I think four years ago we were at a stoplight, maybe longer, and he has phone out making like a girl Instagram story, and I just unfollowed. I'm like, get me out of here. You had to, it was like over. if if I ever want to talk to you, I can't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, here we go. It's crazy. If it's yeah, just tarps oh, he's definitely working out. Yeah, he might be on TRT. Yeah. Can't wait to be because he's starting to get like he's starting to get the abs. So yeah, that's he does eat super. Dead. All he does is eat salads. Salads. He's all he, he does. He goes through salads. phases, but he's in one now. For oh, me. this is one hundred percent. I've been working my ass off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's yes, the crazy. most obvious. I mean, he looks good. Credit Nothing to wrong, him. Yeah. Nothing Probably wrong with on better TRT than though. What's TRT? Uh, it's the testosterone thing where you just get like super jacked. Can't wait to go back, but capitalizing ACK. It's the only to- guy. First time he visited me in Kentucky, he had a he had a axe sticker on his like broken down little like car or whatever he had at the time. But yeah, it was I don't I forget how we got on it. It was shocking. TRT is supposed to like be like a mir- miracle drug, but I think once you get on it, you can never get off it. Do you have to work out? I don't think so. Then I could get me some. Yeah, <laughs> but then but the problem is like I want to get on it, but if you get on it, then you become dependent on it, and then you have to have it for the rest of your Who life. Who cares? Well, no one really knows what. It could it like, does. I'm bad. I'm get, I'm starting to get to the point where it's like diminishing returns. So it's like, all right, whatever, I'll do it. You'll start taking the miracle drugs because you are in that class where you could you could get, tap into the it. rich guy yeah, drugs yeah, yeah, yeah. that they don't give to anyone. I, yeah, I can't work out, but I I'll take whatever. I'm pretty sure TRT. You just like become jacked, yeah. right? I don't know enough about it. Bert Kreischer, it did. boosts your testosterone, so yeah. you want to work out and, and you want to yeah. lift. Yeah, yeah but he can't I, that, lift. that and that wouldn't make me like want to work. I'd just make me want to bet more. What about his like, suit? Yeah, I get, it kind of reminds, reminds me. Kind of reminds me when you I'm discover like, when you discover or Adderall 10X. or ten X. True, you if you have more energy, your energy is going to be used for the places that you enjoy, yeah. which is horse racing and, and yeah. football. Yeah, ten X. I'm not going like, to work out. <laughs> you did ten X for a little bit too, no? He tried I, it. I, I tried I was, it. Yeah. I went there just to get my shoulder like do growth hormones to try to fix it, and they put me through a full. Hank, like, you should get him your your bodysuit. He wouldn't that wouldn't hurt his shoulder. Yeah, catalyst. He's got this bodysuit that like vibrates you and and like tones you. Huh. No weights. No All weights. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I literally my shoulders so screwed up I can't do anything. So. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to like move all right. at all. Yeah, I got I, like I got to try something. I love that. Yeah. We got to get we got him on catalyst. Nothing wrong with bettering yourself. Um I okay. cut out soda 2 days. That's like the number 1. Soda day 2. Thing. I kind of want to get soda addiction just so I can cut it out and lose weight. Like I've always said, if I could, I don't really drink much. Right. I was house. So I, I'm always jealous of the people who are like, oh, I stopped drinking for January and lost 15 pounds. Yeah. That for me, Same. that would I be ice cream that. and I can't do it. Ice cream is the best. I cannot stop I mean, ice cream. I, I, I did, I do pizza. I mean, I, pizza yeah, kind of puts me by. I did 10 pizza reviews yesterday. 10? 10. <sighs> Pittsburgh actually had some great pizza. Did you see the boys? Did I check in, you mean? Yeah. With Fryer Move? No. The Able Brothers. No, I didn't. Oh, oh you should have. Oh, I forgot they were there. <laughs> they, had, they had a pizza place they wanted you to try oh, by damn. the airport. I, I would have gone. They didn't reach out. Oh, fuck. I caught him. All right, so Dave, we should have mentioned that to start. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're wearing a crown. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't feel like Mission's getting the respect they deserve. We're the champs, and I know it. New season. I I. Well, we're still the champs. I mean, is who's the champs? Michigan. I and I know we were talking a little bit like the Celtics. Great, great win, great Hank for us. And there are, I guess, like Philly fans. I, I will say, Michigan bothers people in this office more than the Celtics did. So, and it's football. Football will always be more like there's just more people who are invested in football so it, in america than yeah. any other sport so I, i'm enjoying my reign uh i ordered this crown we're going to michigan yep so we'll this be was in michigan for, on saturday with that i'm trying to see if anybody knows any ai out there how to do this i like like a majestic uh hail the victors like a, a medieval one almost like walking in like a king walking into a castle with hail of victors but somehow okay you know what i'm saying yeah yeah with like maybe a bagpipe or something. yeah something that really sets like a it trumpet up. yeah a bugle yeah 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 i see what harp you're harp something that makes it sound regal yeah okay yeah uh okay so 
Congratulations, I guess. I don't know. I, I no, I, 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 it's you. still the I'm champ. Not, I'm, yeah, on, I'm on my. I'm, I'm sitting on the throne. I'm reigning over college football right now. I. I it's very funny to me watching uh, the various Barstool employees that don't know Championship Dave and how to deal with you because you had a five year drought. We had a little drought. Yeah. So there's a ton of people that have been hired that don't remember that. Like this is just they're just living what Kevin and I lived on the rundown for a decade. And they're now having to like come to grips with this. That you're insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> were you, I, did I walk in and hear you yelling in, with tape? Yeah, they were tape? screaming at each other. Yeah. I wasn't oh, no, yelling. Dave wasn't I heard a little tape bit of that. I, like, a little Tate, bit. Tate is a peon, and he's going to just have to accept that. <laughs> I, there's no other way to say it. Like I, I've seen some of the stuff occasionally it comes across. To be honest, I've I know he's done rants. I haven't watched him. He said I talked about him first. Maybe I did, but I honestly may have confused him. Like I have so many Ohio State trolls in my mentions, and occasionally I pick and I respond to some. So he wants to do that bet. It's like, as I've said, I'm. He wanted to make that double or nothing bet in the middle of summer. He wakes up and all he's thinking about is Michigan, and, and I'm enjoying the summer and enjoying my national championship reign. You know, maybe I'll throw him a couple crumbs when we get closer to the game. I don't know. It's Texas week. I'm worried about Texas right now. And to be honest, he hasn't even earned the right to look me in the eyes. Like, this should be like Medusa. If you look me in the eyes, you turn to stone. That's what should happen to Tate. Like, Big Ev and Buckeye Brandon have gone through the t Tate? I, like, who cares, Tate? Like, I don't care at all about you what about titus i guess we do kind of have a lot of ohio state titus yeah, we do. Here. titus neither i i don't interact with him like enough he's not in my football content i consider him a basketball guy i know he went there um but really fat boy and uh they have been in the yeah. they've been in the trenches with yes. you watching the games i think tate will earn his stripes when he starts watching the games with you and that like that grows. yeah he could but it has to like slow he's like no, he, brandon it that was very natural. Brandon has just picked against Michigan for like totally. three years in a row, and then he became Buckeye Brandon. It and, didn't happen overnight. Big Ev and I have sat actually. We've been doing it for a decade. I don't know how long Big Ev has been here, a long time. Like right now, Tate is no different than any Ohio State troll bag, and there are a lot of them, and they're mad. They haven't beat us since pre-COVID, so I get it, but like, why won't you bet with me? You're lucky you even have the right to talk to me. It's different with the outfit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's ridiculous. I was, I, I actually forgot because yeah, he's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "What are you? Are you doing I'm a video game. or yeah, something right now?" He's like, "No, I won." I was like, "Oh, you're gonna wear this all day." <laughs> first time, I think this is the first time, maybe in the, it, it, no, we did the basketball first time in the office. I was gonna, say. you've been here a bunch, yeah. but it's the first time in the office in football season. Yeah, it's football season. Um. And Michigan again is is the apple of college football's eye this week. It's like they are we're gonna get going to disrespect it. Yeah, they are getting disrespected. Disrespect is an understatement. It's a big line. It's understatement, a big line. I, I don't. If we want to just knock this game off, I'm ready to go in on this game. Yo, all right, fine. Well, I was I was gonna save it for last, but let's do it right now. We're we're talking about I, first of all, Michigan's defense is outstanding. The lack, it, it, it outstanding. They got a bunch of dudes back on the defensive line. Obviously, uh, the best cornerback in the country, maybe best defensive player in the country. Fresno State, people, this that. I, I, I'm going. Back. Here we go. Fre Fresno State. <laughs> what? Ask me. Fresno last, State was. Ask like, me last time Fresno <laughs> State was held to ten points. Fresno State's one of the greatest power, like not they're not power, afraid of anybody. Power five teams of all time, anytime, any place, anywhere. Yeah, Let, I, who they play last week first. I had first Fresno week. State in the playoff until week one. <laughs> who, 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 who'd Fresno? Anybody? They played a Big Ten team. Molly whopped them last year, week one. Purdue hung forty on them. Uh, then week three, they played Arizona State. Power Five Conference, Molly whopped them. They haven't been held to under 10 points or less since pre-COVID. They always score. Same quarterback. They didn't move the ball. They had one drive against Michigan, and that was they turned it over and got the ball back and then got pick six. This defense is being slept on. Now, do we have questions? At, That's at, just what I was going to say. Offensive ball? Yeah. Well, let me tell you this. Are you a cancer fan? No. Neither am I. Has anybody in this room beat cancer? Because my quarterback has. Dave, you have. You beat it. I did. <laughs> <And my quarterback. laughs> you forgot about that. No, 
I was like, what are you talking about? My quarterback and and I both beat cancer. And let me tell you something about beating cancer. Uh, it, it it makes you steely willed. I like this guy. He's got two first names, and I didn't think he was that bad. What are his two first names? Davis Warren. I didn't think he was too bad. I didn't I literally was, Davis Ward is such a Michigan name. Oh my War, god. No. <laughs> Warren? That's what he said. What did you say? Warren Davis. He's got two first Warren names. Davis. Warren. <laughs> Ward Davis. Warren. Yeah. Warren Davis. Warren Davis. Davis. Davis Warren. That literally is the most Michigan guy. Do <laughs> you know he beat cancer? Yeah, I did. So he that's why I wasn't recruited. And I thought he played pretty decent. They kept it tight. They didn't run the ball. That was a little bit alarming. Their tight end's the best tight end in the fucking country. The run the ball was the part that I was a little Yeah, they, they didn't get any push. No, they they did, that but kid did have what? Like 27 yards. They they started yeah. grinding towards the end of the game when they needed it. They needed a Michigan drive and they got it. Texas, everyone wants to crown them. I'm not crowning shit. You're going to Ann Arbor and we have the best defense in the country. I think we're going to win this game. And by the way, I'm glad we're playing this game because we don't duck anybody. Other schools are playing the Akrons and the Western Michigans of the world. No, we want a big game. The winner, I love this game, especially in the playoff format, because the winner of this game is basically in the playoffs. Yeah, I'd pr- uh, because you're you have such you know, a as long as you don't lose three games. I think after three, that you may be able yeah. to get in because you Depending have such a tiebreaker yeah. advantage. So I love it. We win this game. We're in. I think we're going to win. People. Michigan's defense was dominant against Fresno, and I know like they were basically Fresno's like the Houston run and shoot. The, Fresno has it. The, uh, Fresno's yeah. quarterback's good. Chip Kelly, Oregon. I agree. I'm saying that. I'm saying they're getting a little the, irritated. One of the best. One of the best offenses I've ever seen. They, they, held them to ten points. They, they haven't been held to ten points since pre-COVID, right? And they played everybody. We're making the same point. They play everybody. Uh, they went in. They scored forty at Purdue. Went into West Lafayette. Beat them week one. Michigan dominated on defense. They didn't, they, trust me, we are going to, everyone's just writing Michigan off. Seven and a half. We're the defending national champs. We have the most wins in the history of college football. We didn't show what we had on offense. And I think the quarterback's arm is pretty fucking good. I'm an honest guy. The guy, Orgy, he's the worst quarterback I've ever seen. He can't throw at all. Don't and, even put and, him in the game. And when you put him in, yeah, it's so obvious what's going to happen. Keep him out. Put yeah. him out wide receiver, whatever. But this kid, Wars Dave, D- Davis, I'm never going to know which name comes first because they got two, and you don't know what's coming or going. What's his name? Davis Warren. War- Davis Warren. Warren Davis? Davis Warren. He's got two first names. If I think he's going to be pretty good, and the tight end is the is a uh, uh, first-round top 20 pick. This game, come to me, is – Simply just such an overreaction. You have to take Michigan. This line was three and a half yeah, all crazy. summer, and now it's seven and a half. Yeah. That's insane. Just based off one game, you can't do that off of week one. I, Michigan's defense is going to be flying on Saturday. Yeah. All right. So you taking? I'm taking Michigan. I'm taking Michigan to win. I'm taking I'll, for this. I'm taking points, but I will money line this game. Yeah. I'm taking the under. Under what's I believe in Michigan's defense, 42, 42 and a half. 42 and a half, that is very yeah, low. Yeah, I can't believe have it. a college football play. Can't. Not one. Not one. No, you can't. Not one. That that pick six that Michigan had was a college football play. Yep. You don't yeah. see you don't see the 85-yard pick six is very No, good. and everyone's talking about that. They also – the only thing I'll say – the most alarming part of the whole game was actually them not going for two. When they went up crazy, the that was when they were. Yeah, that, that I, I that said that in the moment. That, that I was, was like a little bit strange. Sharon Moore, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, that game management, you gotta know that. But that was the second turnover on that drive. They got bailed out. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that that is we'll that's just, the big that, one. That's yeah. the big one. That's you guys will be game. there. We'll be there. Uh, you want to for people who want to get tickets? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Give me one second to pull up. Look uh, at that. It's a great segue. Here, I'll pull up the ticket prices. I got the you ticket the prices re- oh, right here. Wow, yeah, good job. Got it right there. The Football season is here. Are going to be in shambles when Michigan wins on Saturday. Shambles. Buckeye Brandon will have a, a bad day. Are you going to the game? I don't think so. I okay. think I'm gonna watch it at the airport. Okay. 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 We got. I mean, those Saturdays are just—they're crazy. We're back in the Saturdays, where we're just traveling around everywhere. Football season is here, and we can't wait to get out to some games this fall with the help of Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. You know how much we love Game Time. Now with their brand new Game Time Picks feature, they're making it even easier to get into a game. Game Time Picks 
filters out the fluff to show you the incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. I was looking at tickets for the Michigan-Texas game. I'd love to join you guys. I saw an amazing game time picks deal for great seats, only 275 bucks. So great seats down in the lower bowl. Plus, uh, just pull up your chosen event and get on to and turn on the GT picks setting at the top of the screen or browse the best local game time deals near you on your game time app homepage. What are you waiting for? I'm going to buy those Texas Michigan tickets now with game time picks. Download the game time pick app today and use code PICKEM, P I C K E M, to easily score great deals with the new game time picks. That's P I C K E M. What time is it? Game time. I watched the Stallions doc. Uh,. I hate to do this to help you, Dave, but I've been very firm on my Connor Stallions opinion. Uh, I like Connor Stallions. He's fucking wildcat. He's nuts. Harbaugh didn't know because I love Harbaugh. Michigan cheated. That's been my take from the beginning, uh, which is very hard to, to bring all those together. But I'm going to help you out right now because I was laughing when Connor Stallions, when like the whole Harbaugh doesn't know Connor Stallions, and then he had the scene where he showed his game ball. Uh do you see this? I'm going to help you out, Dave. You can use this anytime someone brings it up. You see that? Yeah, it's a game ball. What does it say? What, what does it say? From Big Dom. Big Dom presented me a game ball. I've never met Big, Big Dom. It can happen. You can get a game ball without meeting a guy. <laughs> and, and, and again, it was, it was a great documentary, and he's a great guy, and that is good. <laughs> it's good. I mean, By I way. just – that that was such – Connor Stallions. Michigan, Michigan was definitely doing stuff – that was probably farther than the gray area. But the watching that documentary, I walked away being like, I wish I had a Connor Stallion. Everybody wishes. I wish I had a Connor Stallion. That that guy just all he cares about is, is all, everybody football. wishes they have a Connor Stallion. And I don't think he was going further. They, at the end, Dan Wetzel's like every every school is doing the same thing. He was better at it. He went to school for it. By the way, Hank, did, I can't remember were we on air when I told you how dumb uh what's his name? Tate. T- yeah, Tate. To, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> when he was yelling at me from the rafters, and I'm like, "We're the champs." He's like, "It doesn't count." Asterix. I'm like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "I read that article you wrote about the Astros and them cheating." He was dead serious, and I'm like, "Do you think maybe I was trolling because of the Patriots?" Like, he's so far below me mentally. I don't know if I, it, it's unfair. Yeah, it's like picking on. A handicapped child. The, I mean, the minute the, I remember last year, the minute the Connor Stallions oh. thing broke, I was like, "This is basically a gift to Dave from heaven," because th- this is the when you get when you get something like this, you just well, it's the exact same thing. But yeah, and in hand to God, I don't think he did anything different than any other team is doing. I think he cheated, but I don't think Harbaugh knew. What and I like he, Connor Stallions. He was just better. He was just better. What do you mean cheated? Like he just it's. Oh, well, I take it the part where football. he was like. <laughs> We're like, did you did you ever receive uh, videos from from people that you sold tickets to? And he's like, I do not recall. Yeah, but I mean, the whole. <laughs> or what do you say? He's like, oh, oh it's like when your no, aunt he, gets he you answered something. Honestly, he when said your he aunt did. gets you a present, yeah, you already yeah, have it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but it, the whole thing is so preposterous. It's a rule that do, it's a, they only changed it because small schools couldn't send people. Like anyone can film. It's so dumb. And this is really stupid to go over again. But he was busted before all their hard games. Busted. And they still whooped everybody. It's crazy. It is kind of crazy that we're now at a point. I feel like the pendulum has swung all the way back on Barstool that we're now like in all these documentaries. Yeah, right. Like it's because that would be unfathomable five years ago. Yes. Like it's just nuts. You were in the Manziel one. You were in this one. We They posted our, the college football show, a bunch of clips. It was just crazy to see like Brandon Walker, I think, was the first scene of the yeah. Connor Stallions documentary. Um, in a movie, what? Oh yeah, you were in a movie. We were in Hard Knocks. Like it's it's nuts. What movie? The, the Funny Money or whatever. Yeah. Oh, dumb, dumb money. money, dumb money, dumb yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. So, any other thoughts about Week One before we do the rest of the card? No, the- Oregon struggled. I, uh, I, 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 I thought the SEC came out a loser. I oh. love that coach, the Idaho coach. I didn't know he he's a Badger. Uh, I hit him up after. He's. Did you watch any of that game? No. Because nope. uh, I think Michigan was on the same time. Yeah, it might have been Coach Eck, uh, oh, the yeah, Idaho was, coach. I'm, I focus on Michigan. He's only got one TV. Uh, Michigan wasn't why on did at you the same turn time. on me? Yeah. Who was on at the same time? I don't know, but you only have one TV, so I understand why you couldn't watch the game. Michigan was on. At the same no, the, no, Michigan was at night. Was it not? Oregon was at night too. Wait, was it? Seven thirty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the same time. Seven thirty kick. 
Oregon was 7.30? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it was the same. But it, you got confused because it looked light out there. I thought Oregon for some Oh, maybe not. You know, what I, you know what I may have been watching it was Hawaii. You might have been watching Hawaii. Because I had them money as well. I, I know they should have won that game. That was a, that was just an ugly, ugly, ugly game. Very ugly. Uh, so the Idaho coach, though, he had, I'm not joking, he had a binder like this big that a guy would just hand to him, and then he would just call up a trick play and it would work. <laughs> It was it was the biggest binder I've ever seen a play. There was there must have been three thousand plays in there, and he just he'd like leaf through it and then hand it back and then be like, boom, another touchdown of just like a ridiculous trick play. So I loved Idaho. That was awesome. Uh, okay, I, I guess before we get into it, one thing that I should mention is not football related. I don't know that I've ever been this deep in anything s- since maybe. LeBron when I was like really studying his every move and every word I am so in on the WNBA it's, yeah and I, I he texts me every time the I, I, I he it's, tweets it in the morning yeah, as soon as he wakes thing up I think about when I wake up first thing I think uh, before I go to sleep I look at the scores every day I'm I was retweeting the entire game Angel Reese's box score last night to see if it's, she got an extra rebound, miss shot. It's tough. I, uh, she's get, there's some the bad look at the who who was it who was like uh, they should share uh, Lisa rookie. Leslie. I mean that was. That's, what do you think? You think they, you think they're going to split rookie of the year? No. No, I mean, if they do, that's the craziest no. thing ever in the history of basketball. This is the only time where people are trying to equate being a dynamic playmaker with being a, a rebound. She's rebounds. That's yeah. literally all she does. And like Rodman. Did, would rebound and wouldn't shoot. He'd pass it to open right. people. She shoots and misses. She gets no. It's pretty insane. It's crazy. And, and in this team, I'm knocking on the door. Of, like I, I honestly think they can win the whole thing. What are they at now in terms of seed? To one. To yeah, one. the seed. Six seed. They have a chance to maybe get to the five, but uh, they clinch the playoffs. Yeah, they qu- last I watch every second. They're. And you have for to remind they're loaded. You have, you have 10, 10 grand to win ten million. No, 100, 100, grand 100 grand to win ten million. Point one million. One million. <sighs> hundred to one. It's eighteen to one. I Kelsey and Mitchell. They have two MVPs. Their backcourt, Kel, uh, Caitlin and Kelsey Mitchell, are MVPs. Um, Aaliyah Boston, number one pick. She she's playing okay, but then they have a, this. Nalisa Smith is great. Lexi Holt. They're loaded. Like they don't win games. They, I, they don't win by accident. They're and they can score so quick. They push the ball. Caitlin is better than anybody who's ever played passing. It. it How have they matched up with the Liberty? Because I looked at the standings and the Liberty are like twenty eight and six or the something. Liberty and the um, Aces, the, Liberty the, Aces, and Minnesota, Seattle and Minnesota are all ahead of them. They beat Seattle, lost to Minnesota. But I they mean, beat they beat the Liberty. Beat they beat the Liberty. It's in this. They lost the Liberty because they started so bad. But they beat them in this. Like yeah, they were one and eight run. to start. They're they're 17 16 now so i am people are i i can't i can't avoid it it's my entire social media i watch everything i am i can't believe it and i watch the games my heart's pounding like from the second it starts i'm betting 100 grand on them every night and i know i have this, i i'm electrified by the indiana i told dave i had to he put me in a box this summer where uh Every time he he tweets about the fever winning or Dylan Davis winning a horse at Saratoga, I've just had to auto bet just because I don't want to have the FOMO. Yep. So like I don't even watch the games. He'll just text me after and be like, "Did you bet it?" I'm like, "Yup." And then he's like, "Easy." Like, They'll yup. eventually catch up, but the props on Kelsey Mitchell, it's and, crazy. And Caitlin, Clark, they're beating him in the first half. I bet really? her over points every single game. Wow. Kelsey Mitchell scores like 25 points a game. It was, I think it's now like about caught up, but it, for the longest time it was like just 16, 17, 18. She points. has it she in the first half. Every Jesus single time. Christ. And, Where is she and from? Caitlin Clark, you just bet. I've just been betting Caitlin Clark assists, Kelsey Mitchell uh, points, and it just hits every time. Where did Kelsey Mitchell go to school? Ohio State. Oh. Did you know that? I didn't know that. No. I don't care. I, I love her. I yeah. love the whole team. If she's playing for you, you can love her. Yeah. She, she's electric. Right. She's an MVP candidate. Um. All right, so let's get into the games. Oh. So much animosity, and there's like, oh, it, it's one huge controversy. Yeah, and it's also like so funny, the uh, Le- who, who Lisa Leslie, and then there was the Cheryl Swoops. Cheryl, Cheryl Swoops she won't can't talk be about more her. Wrong. She, she, yeah. won't put, she won't say her name. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. It's poison to her. Uh, Rico, can I... Now, this is a football show, so I'm sure. not trying to nitpick, but I just, listen, we're a gambling company. We're built on gambling. 
I don't think the Rutgers was a bad beat. You said it was the first bad beat of the year. Oh, on the blog? The over. I understand, but Rutgers was – do you know what happened in the Rutgers no. game? They were up uh, – what was the score before they scored a touchdown? 38-14 or something? It was 38-7? Yeah, it was something like – it was 38-7, and uh, they – Shiano kept on running the ball with no time left. With like seven seconds left, he could have just kneeled it out, and he ran the ball. They scored a touchdown, and then they missed the over in Rutgers – uh, covering would have, would have been a point. by a half a point because they didn't kick the extra point. But that was – Rutgers never should have been running the ball there. That would have been a bad beat for Howard. Howard, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. Because, like, no team does what Shiano was doing. He was literally running offense with a minute left up 38-7. Yeah, Trying sense. to score. Yeah. So, First night of football. Yeah. Penning away. As you know, people come after us. Yeah. And, you know, they All right. To tell us that we don't gamble. We'll get sharper. Yeah, we'll get sharper. Uh, okay, let's do the games. It still hurts, though, when that happens. Of course it hurts, but that would have been a bad beat the other way. Right. So, so like, if you had Howard, and it's 38-7, and there's a minute and a half left. They score with no time, and then there's no extra point. No extra point. No extra changed, point. Is that rule? That, they used to kick in the NFL, I think. I don't know. They, they changed they it in college, it. I feel. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so, standings. Rico, great week. Good Crushed week. it. Eight and three. Uh, is this the first time you've ever been ahead? No, I think no. he's done this before. Seven and nine, uh, Dave. I'm question. twelve and seventeen. I'm only doing a few games a week, um, <laughs> and then everyone except the over ex- in LSU. What the over in LSU yeah, USC was that? Was that Liam's? Yeah, that was Liam's. So everyone won their mortals except uh, Liam. By the way, speaking of Bob Diaco, he's just on the LSU sideline. Is he? Yeah, I I thought I saw a ghost. He was just talking to Chip Kelly after oh. one of the penalties. Or not Chip Kelly. Is he a coach? Brian Kelly. Yeah, he's, a, yeah, oh, he's wow. Brian Kelly. That's awesome. He's on that staff. That was a funny I was like, who clip. the fuck is that? Oh, shit, that's Bob Diaco. Funny clip from Kelly slamming the... Yeah. the uh, Oh, he's such a... My first win, by the way, college football season was Kansas, first half, on a reversal touchdown with three seconds left. I oh. tried to find that. They didn't have the video of that. That would have been... I saw your tweet. Yeah, yeah they... It, they they ruled him down with three seconds. I don't know what they would have done if they didn't call a touchdown. Uh, they had they maybe kick a field goal. I need the six, so that was yeah. Good. But yeah, we we're, we're off to we're off and running the Bob Diaco. Like I said, the the mortal parlay one. Oh, we do have some business, which is huge. That's in that bag. Oh, you got some business. Oh, we have some business to take care of. Oh, yeah. okay. Let's take care of some business. Yeah, I mean, he's wearing the crown. Oh, you got him the plaque. All right, we got to put it on. I think we'll the Pat Hill on. Trophy. So Where is the Pat Hill Trophy? Uh, it's, it's over here. there. Yeah. Uh, Jack, can you grab the Pat Hill Trophy? I think it's uh, it's right it's behind. Or Hank will. Oh, try. I know yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right so there. So here you go. So I don't want you waiting. There we go. For the, any more of the year, it'll go right up there. Thank you. No yeah, so, the bo- so that's the Pat Hill Trophy. We put another one. It's a great trophy. Great. I see it all the time. We got to we gotta display it more. Uh, it, Hank's grabbing it. Yeah, we'll put his name here. I'll do a quick ad while Hank grabs it there it is look at it beautiful we'll put it on that there. in well it we takes need, a little while I'm we need more uh we need more spots can I see it so oh, yeah. so the Pat Hill trophy I have 2020 at 54 percent Dave has 2021 51.4 I have 2022 51.7 then Dave uh has the highest or yeah what was it 54 point right now he's uh 54.6 so the highest ever for the 2023 so if you're if you're going off that I I should win this year Dave and I just been trading back and forth yep. uh but Rico's up up big start so, hey, early listen, start. Early. I've, I've Good never start. started well. I wish I I could start well. I've never started well. You got what are those envelopes? Oh, those are personal. Oh, those are some payments. Those look like big business. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Roback. It's safe to say we bet on these guys any day of the week because we absolutely love their gear. It's college football season, and Roback is ready, fresh, fresh off their collegiate license drop. They're custom designing polos, hoodies, and Q-zips for some of your favorite schools. Roback's performance polos are the only polos we wear. We don't even wear polos that often, but when we do, it's always Roback. They have the most comfortable fabric and best fit. It's that simple. Roback's performance hoodies are the best piece of clothing we own. We can't emphasize how soft these are. With great stretch and still breathable, they are simply the best hoodies out there. Odds are if you see us during football season, you will see us in a Roback hoodie. With it being football season, there's no better short for a game day than Roback's everyday shorts. Whether you're going to the game or watching at home, these shorts look nice enough to wear. 
with a polo but have the comfort of an active short with elastic waistband. There's a reason why college football's biggest names are all wearing rowback between Quinn Ewers, Jalen Milrow, and Caleb Downs. Rowback is all over the best college football players. Uh, so go right now. Use promo code PICK. 20% off RHOBACK.com, Roback.com, 20% off all polos, hoodies, shorts, and more with code PICK. Thank you to Roback, our wonderful sponsor, Roback.com, promo code PICK. Okay, games. So we did the Texas-Michigan game. You got that, Jack. Um, all right. Uh, not the best slate, but some some compelling games in each time window. Uh, we'll go Iowa-Iowa State. Cyhawk. Uh, these two teams hate each other. I think Iowa State got a little banged up from their game week one. I think they lost yeah. an offensive lineman. This game uh, seems almost too easy. I, I'm a little confused by the spread. It almost seems like a trap. With with saying taking Iowa? Yeah, but I'm yeah. taking them. Yeah, I, 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 Iowa as well. It's, a, it's a very strange. Offense line. has improved. Minus two. Game couldn't get any worse from last year, but seems like offense has improved. Well, they play like a nobody. I know. They? Yeah. Yeah, they played Southern Illinois. I was minus two and a half. Take Iowa. I'm taking Iowa as well. It does it's an absolute trap, but I, I'm taking them. But an absolute trap. At Iowa? Trap. What a trap. It makes no sense. Trap. Because I think it was f- four pre and then for some reason it's now gone down to two and a half. Trap. It, like, I, to me, I maybe once, but for the majority of the years, you sit down, who's better, Iowa, Iowa State? It's Iowa, Iowa. So a home game at Iowa. It makes no sense. The one thing I'd, I'd say about this game, and this is just based off vibes, uh, it does feel like this game always is like a weird like two-point game. Yeah. like I mean, It's it, going to be like a 15-13. That, that's all, that's Nine, thread in the seven. needle yeah. for the spread to matter. That is thread in the needle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so we're all on Iowa there. Uh, next game I had on the list was Tennessee at NC State. This kid, Nico, is insane. Yep. Tennessee looked awesome. Uh, NC State struggled. Uh, Western Carolina. Yeah. Tennessee di- – or yeah, NC State did not – That's the new quarterback. I don't see any Tennessee. Oh, yeah, Nico. He's awesome. He's that's the his, guy – That's the last name. That's his first name. Nico Ivio – I can't remember. I running? I how to say it. He – no, he's a passer. I mean, he can do both, but he, he, throws, he throws dimes. And he's the kid who – he was like one of the first millionaire NIL kids. Got it. Like he when he went to Tennessee last year, it was like a big deal because he got a shitload of money uh, out of high school. Yes, uh, okay. five. Nico, I am I'm a Leva. How do you pronounce that? I'm just gonna call him Nico. I think everybody is calling him Nico. Yeah, but he's I'm the a real Leva. Dude. I'm a Leva. Signed an NIL deal with. Uh, yeah. With beats by Dre, he signed a deal out of high school, so he's a he's a real deal. Like he, was, they, they have everybody. They beat yeah, the like, shit out of Chattanooga, right? Yeah, I mean that was I, I actually ended up live betting that like three times. I just kept on hitting Tennessee. Yep. And it was just easy every single time. Uh, all right, so that line is what is it? It's seven eight. and a half, eight now. Did you see the scroll of the Danny Cannell tweeted it at on ESPN? It put uh, SEC teams roll with big points alabama ole miss tennessee yeah they didn't mention the fact that they yeah. lost fucking three part marquee it's, games yeah big 10 went 17 and one yeah minnesota only lost the which SEC that lost. one was crazy well the sec has been the same now for a couple of years with it you got georgia you got bama and then uh, ole miss is good but they're after the top eh. right yeah but they uh, stay ranked they love keeping them ranked who do you like in this game rico uh i like the over I, I think Tennessee's like going to score, and, and I, I was I was watching NC State's defense. They got some holes. Uh, I'm going to take the over, 16 and a half. You like Tennessee at all or no? This game is played neutral, but it's in North Carolina. Oh, it's neutral? Well, it's Charlotte, so it's not on campus. Yeah, I could see Tennessee, but I'm going to take the over. <laughs> okay. Bless you. Thank you. Dave? I thought it was at NC State, so I had NC State written down. <clears throat> I also didn't watch this kid play. He's awesome. He... Uh, for whatever it's worth, our good friend Tom Fernelli uh, said that last year he said he's the best quarterback in college football. Like, he will be the best quarterback in college football. And Tom said the same thing about Caleb Williams before Caleb Williams took over for Spencer Rattler. So, he's he's got all the hype. I'm going to go NC State regardless. I'm not going to let all this switch me. Okay. Um, all right, so I'll take the over there, 60 and a half. Same with Rico. Yep. I'm a rider. Uh, next up, Oregon versus uh, at home against Boise. Oh, what did you think I was going to do? Colorado, Nebraska. That's the last one. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Those are the you five. You want to do Colorado, Nebraska first? <laughs> no, no. Okay. No. Oregon, Boise, give me the spread. Happening. I don't know. He 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 thought I was. I sometimes get confused by the big five. I forget. But we that. have the same five. I just did it. Right. Different. I would say there's going to be more people watching Colorado, Nebraska than Boise, Oregon. Yes. Would you agree? That's Colorado, yeah. Nebraska is going to be like, I'm excited 100%. to sit down yeah, yeah, on my yeah. couch on you, Saturday night. Dion and effect too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so Boise, Oregon. Oregon is currently, let's see, I'm going to look it up. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Games. Okay. Uh, Rico. What's the total? 61 and a half. That, the Boise running back. Did you see him, Six Dave? Touchdowns. Yeah, he's the, he's the number one running back in the country, supposedly. Ashton uh, GD or whatever his name is. Yeah. He he was genty. Uh, he had six touchdowns in like 300 yards. It was crazy. Every single time he flipped on that game, it was there. They went to a, a break. It would just be him running down the field. Uh, Rico, what do you like in this game? Over. Yeah? Yeah. Over. Okay. What is it? 60 and a half? 60 and a half. Any reasoning? Over. Okay. I, I don't like this week. game. I'm going to take Boise um, based on how bad Oregon looked last week, but I, I certainly am not confident. I'm going to take Oregon for the exact same reason. Because Ooh, they look course. so bad, they yeah. bounce back. Yeah. And I feel like everyone's going to be like, well, Boise scored a million points and Oregon looked like shit against Idaho. Although, I, yeah, I, I got fucked because I'm in Massachusetts, so I didn't get to bet BC, who I loved. But I, I sort of, like, I thought Florida State, I don't think Georgia Tech's very good. So when Florida State lost to Georgia Tech, and I'm like, they're not good. That's why I like BC. I don't. I don't think you struggle like Oregon struggled and just bounced back instantly. They struggled, but it was also a weird like they were moving the ball and a lot of offense. And yeah, red zone went to shit. Yeah, it was like it was one of those ones where it wasn't it wasn't like oh shit they can't even they can't block Idaho or they can't yeah. move the ball at all. They just they just didn't get touched. Didn't feel like Oregon took a lot of shots. Though. No, they will. Idaho played a perfect game plan of just being yeah. like you have to like we'll keep everything in front of us. And then is Dylan Gabriel okay? He came back in the game. Yeah, I know, but he was he looked a little different when he after he hit his Yeah, hand. I think he's okay. Okay. Um Yeah, I'm going to take Oregon in the over in that game. Uh okay, last game Colorado Nebraska. I'm very excited. This might be the biggest game of Will Compton's life. I congratulated him. He said don't drink the Kool-Aid, which is he's taking he's, it step by he step. He literally is mixing the Kool-Aid. Yeah, he's well, been he's mixing all, the yeah, he's on the jumbotron doing the whole thing. Yeah. So, what's the current line on that game? Seven and a half, I think. And the over under is what? Fifty nine. I mean, this was a Colorado cannot. Their defense. Oh my god! I love so over. bad. I love the over. The I like Nebraska. I love the over. If my memory is correct, last year when these teams, everyone's like over, over because Colorado was scoring a million, giving up a million, and all of a sudden nobody scored in this game. Yeah. Colorado like. Colorado got the fuck yeah, down. but Dylan Colorado Ray got sacked like uh, I think Shadour got sacked like nine or ten. Sh times. He gets pummeled. He, Nebraska he, he, didn't he, have Dylan Rayola playing. I, well, I know that. Okay, I think that's be could be a little bit different this year. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm taking Colorado. Uh, I hope Shadour stays healthy. He's so good. He is so good, but he took a lot of hits. Still, I actually texted Dion after the game. What'd you say? I said. Congrats on the win. If you ever throw the ball deep when you can be in the victory formation again, I'm going to parachute in and rip the headset off your head and coach this team from here on out. <laughs> what did he say? He was like, you got a point. I liked what you said. It's a Coach yeah. Doug's play. He yeah. said, yeah. It was. It was, it was a Coach, coach Doug's play. It yeah. was literally when I get bored playing the game, I'm like, let me just try to score one more time. Yeah, he, yeah, he said Shador uh, checked him off. He wanted to get he, – he, but they got the ball to the four-yard line, the other team. That also was – yeah, which, by the way, Mark Jones, one of the worst announcers going right now because he – I've never seen an end of play go all the way to the four-yard line, and the announcers just didn't say anything. Yeah. They were just like, and the game's over. Thank God, because that we would still be hearing about. Imagine if they end up blowing that game because they did that. Holy shit, that yeah. was crazy. That was nuts. Um, they couldn't guard. I mean, the, I I think I said in the first half it was like the, Colorado's defense looked so bad at times that I thought I missed a whistle yeah. because guys were so open. 
and it was just like they would show it. The guy would catch the ball, and there wasn't a Colorado defender within 10 yards of him. Did you see after? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this. The, Dion, after the game, or maybe it was like during the week this week, played uh, some of the game to be like this, uh, what was it, North Dakota State? North Dakota State defends how we need to defend. So he like went back and was like, even though we won this game, he's like eleven guys to the ball was like complimenting them. Yeah. So I mean it, that that was discipline. Like, yeah. They didn't have discipline. So I I'm saying Colorado and this is this is an absolute heart game. I love Dion. I'm rooting for Dion. I want Dion to shut everybody up. So uh I'm rooting for them. That's I wish it. Shador the only thing I'm worried about with Shador is like I feel like he doesn't know when he should run. Do you do you feel that? Like he'll he'll tuck the ball and he'll like maybe it's just like it's a little bit harder for him to get going but like there's times where it's like he because yeah. he he does he's a passer first yeah hundred percent he's like an NFL quarterback correct so it's like there's a few times a game where it's like dude just tuck it and run but he's still looking for the yeah. pass and it's like that's and then he gets crushed yeah he gets hit hard yeah uh you're taking the over love the over I am as well love the over okay um, I'm on a lot of overs this week yeah. Uh, all right, so, oh, I forgot to do the game preview segment. That was the game preview segment, but we're going to do our cards anyway. Uh, DraftKings, this week, DraftKings has a college football parlay profit boost. All you have to do is head to the app, opt into the Barstool Boost, and make your bet. So head to the app now and claim this week's offer. Uh, DraftKings, go check it out. We're going to be streaming. You're here th- tomorrow night, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're streaming NFL Week 1. Uh so we will be live betting that game probably, and then we'll have our parlays up. We'll have touchdown drafting. scores. Touchdown scores, everything. Yeah, I'm excited for the touchdown scores. Touchdown scores is going to be, be a lot of, lot, of, lot of paperwork. Yeah. A lot of getting, paying attention to what's going on. Yeah. By the way, I'm, I uh, – I don't know that we have the right to tell DraftKings what to do, but I would love to see all the touchdown scores in one tab so I don't have to go into each game. That would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, by the way, Dave. Maybe fire that off as a suggestion, Jack Mack. Get on it, Jack. I like that you call him Jack Mack. He's not Jack Mack. He is. Jack, Jack Mac. McCarthy. Yeah. Jack Mack. But we have a Jack Mack. Well, we have two Jack Who Mac. found the, the shit eater. Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. that was, see what John Rich did? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. That was. Okay. The thing I don't understand, that if you're going to eat your own shit, you got to go uber viral. He ate it. He, like, no, it didn't even go viral. He just ate shit for the hell of it. That's. Uh, he was trying. You I gotta, give him. I commend him for the effort. You got. There can't be a worse feeling than eating shit and then like no one cares. Yeah, because everyone's expecting him to cut his head off too. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it just kind of re brought up that he's got to cut his head off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, I did uh, <coughs> the a half ba- million views. Yeah, no, it's starting to pick up. The uh, baseball uh, fantasy football draft, the Che one. Yeah. The, I stepped in. I did that yesterday. Yeah. Right. Che is just, he's a maniac. Yeah, I he, had to get out of that. He, he's hes a maniac. He he said it was, I mean, Che's nothing surprising to him. We're on, we're doing the draft. It's for people who don't remember, it's the Tommy Fam League when he got hit, when he got kicked out for fighting, who'd he fight? Chuck Peterson? Jock Peterson. Slap Jock Peterson. Dave got in it for a couple of years. Dave's out, so I'm in his spot. It's like Trout, Bregman, Schwarber, uh, Moustakis, Hosmer, all these guys. All these really good Major League Baseball players were on. We're doing the draft, and we're on a Zoom. And Che said, "I was like, oh yeah, my son has his first T-ball game. Just making conversation because it's been between picks." And Che was like, "Yeah, my son plays T-ball, and there's a guy, there's a kid in his league who's definitely going to the Major League Baseball." He's like this five-year-old. I've never seen anyone hit it farther Wait, in front of a bunch of Major League Baseball. Well, the, weirdly, they worship him. So yeah. Which a, I don't understand. No, you, it, yeah, I think they just like rules, and he does rules better than anyone. Yeah, they like him. I, it's an interesting thing. Yeah. Um, okay, should we do our cards? Should. All right, Rico. All right, I'm going to ride Louisville again, minus the 28. Jacksonville State got absolutely walloped last week. I'm going to ride Louisville till the till the brakes come off. Ole Miss, Middle Tennessee State, over 63 and a half. Uh, Tennessee, to NC State, over 60 and a half. Colorado, Nebraska, over 59. Houston, Oklahoma, over 49 and a half. Wazoo minus two against Texas Tech at home. Pullman weird shit happens up in. I wasn't uh, sure if you're gonna try to take the arrow of the ball and have like one pick this. One. No, just sit on. That's it a theory get, Dan has, but no. Finish. Oh, you definitely do that. I've cut down my cards, but but no, you I'm cut not. when you get a lead. You cut. You go like I got two picks this week. You you've done that. 
Maybe. Yeah. Watch so many overs. I love the overs in those games. I really do. I watch a lot of those teams' offenses. Their defenses can't stop anybody. I like the overs in those games. I like that Washington State pick. I have it on my card. Yep. Minus two. Pull um, baby. Okay, uh, Dave. Northwestern minus two and a half at home versus Duke. Friday night. I already bet it before I came to Chicago because I know you can't bet Northwest unless you go to the DraftKings Sportsbook. Which I'm going to do because I have two, two bets this week. I think this actually moved against me because I, I have them at minus three. Or even three and a half. Now it's two and a half, so that stinks. Syracuse plus three at home against Georgia Tech. Like I said, I, Georgia Tech beat Florida State. I don't. I'm not putting much stock in that. Um, Kyle McCord, Syracuse. Yeah, he said that uh, is a gift from heaven. Or something. yeah, Ryan Day gift yeah. from heaven. Um, Michigan. I, I I love Michigan plus seven and a half at home against Texas. I like Arkansas plus seven and a half on the road at against Oak State. I think that's a close game. Iowa minus two and a half. I'm walking into a bear trap there. South Carolina plus ten at Kentucky. I think that can be a close game. The over in UMass Toledo fifty one and a half. That's a hangover bet from like 2019 when I just UMass always went over. I don't think they do that anymore, but whatever. Um, Auburn, minus 13 at home against Cal. That's kind of an early game. Cal's going to be sleepwalking, I think. Uh, the over in Buffalo, Missouri, 51 and a half. I think Missouri scores I like 50 that. by themselves. I like that. Um, I like Illinois at home, plus five against Kansas, over 55 and a half. That's, I have that. Uh, Colorado, I'm just rooting, plus seven and a half. And then Mississippi State, plus six and a half against Arizona State. Okay, um, I have – I'm opposite on that one. I have Arizona State minus six and a half. I have Maryland minus eight. Maryland looked good last week. Yeah, Michigan State was so bad, so, so bad. Uh, I faded them last week too. Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, over 46 and a half. I have Oregon State minus four. UL Monroe plus 13. Pittsburgh, Cincinnati over 63. I'm with Rico on Wazoo, minus two. I have Illinois plus five, which I'll bet at the DraftKings Sportsbook at Wrigley. Oh, you don't have to because we'll be in Michigan. Oh, yeah, we will be in Michigan. The, uh, for Northwestern people, you have to that's bet. a Friday night game. Yeah. Uh, Georgia Tech, Syracuse over 61. And then I have two hold-your-nose gross bets. Uh, Houston plus 30 at Oklahoma. Houston, I watched that whole game. They were one of the worst teams I've ever watched uh, versus uh, UNLV. UNLV. Good pick, Dave. That was a no-doubter. Uh, I don't then, think I ended up having them on my card. Oh, really? I was asking about the quarterback and never got an answer. Uh oh And then the other hold-your-noser is Northern Illinois plus 29 at Notre Dame. That just – Let down. Just That's funny the, co the coach mentioned your analytics. Yeah. Which he didn't mention what we actually were talking about, but we will have a further conversation. I like Marcus Freeman a lot. Yeah. He's he good coach. Notre Dame got lucky that Brian Kelly left because Brian Kelly cannot win a big game. Like I I said it afterwards that that game in Texas A and M, Brian Kelly loses that game. Yes, Marcus Freeman is is a dude. Uh, but yeah, Northern plus Brian Illinois, Kelly's kind of a dick. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's, he is. Uh, that's well known. Fact. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, Northern Illinois pushed twenty nine. So I will be going to DraftKings Sportsbook to bet a couple of those games. Uh, trying not to be as mean to people, but yeah, he's a dick. How's that going? It's okay. I did see someone did a video that I uh, came across in my timeline. I saw it. it was way too long, but Joe it, Sauce. Yeah, it was a fair point. It was like he was doing a graph of my happiness and Re Rico's craziness, and like it's like I'm only happy when he's crazy, and if he's not crazy, I'm bored. So like, <laughs> the, Joe Sauce. Yeah, it was Joe the Sauce paradox. Is, it's the paradox. The Portnoy paradox. It is. It's tough. <laughs> then, yeah. Uh, four minute video that could have been 30 seconds but uh so everyone's one and oh except bubba uh did he send in a pick he did okay uh we'll start with zoopy defend the champ i like tennessee this week minus eight yep okay tennessee minus eight jack i also like tennessee fuck quigs and then i got Ooh. liam liam's is tennessee nc state over okay nice. so we got three mortal locks that game austin no pick no pick. Uh, <laughs> Ebo? Uh, Oklahoma State minus seven and a half. Oklahoma State oh, minus seven and a half. Like that. Uh, Hank? Colorado. 
plus seven and a half. Ride wow. with Dion. Here Reven- we go. Revenge game. They won last year. Personal revenge game. I bet it, I had like the biggest bet of the year on Nebraska. I don't oh. know why. Oh, it's part. Oh, because I that think was that was when you were Big picking 10, a Big yeah. Ten school. Yeah. By the way, Hank has his Big Ten school. I don't know if you knew that. Who? Washington, Washington Huskies. Oh, you got to get in on the basketball program. I got a good one. Danny Sprinkle. God damn. It. Oh, yeah. top five coach in the country. <laughs> That's huge. Danny Sprinkle. Yeah, yeah, they got some. They got some great coaches over there. What wins everywhere oh, he goes? I just Montana yeah. State two tournaments. Utah State. That's the guy. Tournament. With the super selfish video during the tournament, right? I don't think so. He's the guy who was already one foot out the door when yeah, his team had a second a, round they game. A tur- they, they did a feature video. on him. Yeah, I mean his just, family was excited for him. His, the t- his Can't turn down a bigger job. Washington. Okay. Take a trip. We'll do some sailgate. Do they sailgate for the basketball I game? Think, I don't know if they sailgate for the basketball In game. In the winter? But yeah, I want to go out there big time. Hank's also realizing that, like, you pick a team like that and it's brutal. It's like when you picked the Oilers, I warned you. I was like, these games start so late. Yeah, West Coast. Like, it's brutal. Maybe I'll try and come out for one of the Illinois games or the or who else they play. Oh, Jesus. We'll see. <laughs> okay. But Re- Sprinkle hook you up. He will? Yeah. Nice. Same Northwest. with the pumps. Have you texted Rapoli? Oh, you got to come to the pumps then if you're in on him. Yeah, I'll be there. He's like this with the pumps. Where's the where's Did the, they do uh, the pumps like two weeks before the – No, they do it at the – Where's pump. the Final Four this year? The, San Antonio. The pumps oh. guy was literally begging me, <laughs> like on his hands and knees to come to that party. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, uh, wait, what would you say? Where am I at with Rapoli? Yeah. You've been texting him. You have? Yeah. What would you say? Well, I texted him after I said big win. I didn't expect anything back. And then he started going in. You know, like, you co- uh, college basketball, da da da. We're going back and forth. He's like, I'm telling you, we're in. We're, program's good. Program's good. So we're going to a game. Okay. I, I just... <laughs> what? It's two guys who like ball. But you know what? Two New Yorkers. Actually, we're from the CHSA. Good for you. That's a bond. Like, it probably, if you did a list of like the craziest people in your life, it's Rico and Rapoli. Really so just both. put them together <laughs> and just let them fucking just be crazy together. He's crazy. Oh my! What Rapoli? was that a I real d- question? Yeah, I didn't know. Have you I know met he's, him? He's a genius. I thought he was great. He loves genius. ball. He's a crazy genius. He's the craziest guy ever. I mean, he's a great guy, but all he's right. crazy. He'll Dude, tell you he's crazy. All right, Once every along. two weeks, he's like, give me all Barstool. I'll, I'll give it back to you for like $4 billion. Yeah. I, I also would probably have to jump off a bridge. Like, <laughs> he's like, you'll work less. But, I mean, he's a genius. He's an no, absolute I mean, genius. He's basically- and he probably would turn it into a $4 billion company, but who knows where our mental states would be. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm going to go first. My mortal – is uh, Utah minus 14 at home against Baylor. I'm just going to bet Utah early in the season before Cam Rising gets hurt. I hope he doesn't get hurt. But This Utah's is not good. a conference game too, right? No, it's not because they already had it scheduled. So even though they're in the same conference, it's not a conference game. Weird. Utah minus 14 uh, at home. Rico. I'm going to take Wazoo, Texas Tech over 66. Texas Tech last week gave up 50 to Albaline Christian. I was down on their defense coming in. I'm down on their win total. That would have been a big one if they lost that one. Uh, weird shit happens in Pullman. I liked what I saw a little bit out of Wazoo's offense, over 66. Okay. Dave? So, once again, my – and I, I I just say it. I get no credit for it. My mortal would be a Chicago uh, – Illinois. In Illinois. That yeah. would be my pick of the week. I can't take it because – we want people in Illinois to be able to bet it. You can't unless you're a sports book. So I'm going Michigan. Plus seven and a half. Okay. I think we're right. in this game. I think that works out perfect for our mortal parlay. It's like each time slot. Yeah. Nice little I got a ten o'clock game. Yeah, and I, I I'm Michigan's in the afternoon. Defense is going to swarm Texas. I do yeah, I mean I think And by the way, I think Quinn Ever yours is really good. I think Texas is really good. I just the disrespect like I those two guys Michigan has in the middle on the defensive line are fucking dudes. And they're talking about the defense. The, the, they have a bunch of NFL guys still on that team. They have a lockdown corner. They are – You got to. they got to move the ball a little. But that kid can throw. His interception wasn't the worst pass. He's got two first names. He beat cancer with the defending champs. No one's giving us a shot. I like us. Okay. All right, good pick up, right. boys. Good job. Good to be back in person. We'll be back in person uh in what two weeks for surviving? Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. We'll do we'll do in person then. Are you getting beds for surviving? I think they're I think it's gonna be a lot nicer than last time. I think they're clearing out a bunch of those rooms. What? I think it's gonna be like exactly the same. Oh, it's gonna be exactly There's like the same. Two, maybe three rooms. Okay, maybe it's what gonna are be talking about? this is a room. 
but you can sleep in like yeah stuff. true uh, yeah i mean you have an office yeah there's more rooms to sleep in than yeah. there are in the new york office yeah Fair. there's studios there's like eight studios that are they get very dark true that's all i care about is dark uh okay good job boys see everyone next week